all right what's up y'all so um this is not your regular video uh i want to just go ahead and get straight into it because um the emotions i need them to stay at a good level and we at a good level right now um so i would like to get into this video and swiftly as i can um so first of all the other day I was on stream and a lot of y'all were wondering what was wrong with me. And for those that don't know, I actually got a phone call, um, letting me know that my fucking brother has passed away. And this is when I'm like, nah, don't tell me that you bullshitting. Cause you know, in the beginning, you don't, you don't, that shit just sound like bullshit. I'm not going to lie. But it absolutely was not bullshit. Um, I broke down and my camera actually cut off in the process. Um, so. <sighs> I'm not going to get too emotional on this video. Um, I've been crying my ass off for the past two three days um and just grieving um but i'm here to talk about him um it's been good for me to let things out and when i hold it in or if i question what i'm doing it's hard for me to speak you know so i'm gonna talk about my brother now for those that don't know a couple of weeks ago it was a guy sitting in a corner uh on my stream and uh he was visiting here and i told y'all my brother coming in he just chilling he was working that was him right behind me uh he was actually coming down here to see the little mermaid he was adamant about seeing the little mermaid gangsta nigga um wanting to see Wanting to see Little Mermaid for the kids and shit. But I'm here to pay homage to him and um put the respects out in the universe for him. He was a phenomenal, phenomenal man. And I just want to give y'all some some story times of uh how we met and who he is, cause y'all don't know. I always tell y'all my life is so much better off camera. Um I have some of the littest people the most amazing people off camera that y'all have no idea. Um, and it's so crazy that I came to the internet saying that I don't have friends. Well, hell that's true because we never, uh, claim to be friends. You know, that was my brother. Day one. Um, for those that wouldn't want to know how we met. So how we met, um, uh, I worked at a grocery store across the street from the job he was working at. Basically I was having a day. Um, went across the street, decided to get me some drinks. It was a bar. Uh, I can't even remember what the bar is called now, but everybody was, that was that bar. Everybody get off work, go get drunk at that bar. Um, so, you know, met, it was lit. Him, several other guys. You know, it was just a guy group of them. It was out getting women, doing them. And here I come in and, you know, I'm drinking and, I don't know how we end up talking, but of course we ended up talking and, you know, vibed out. So did that like twice. Rest in peace to my grandma. One day she wanted me to just get the hell out. Uh, she was tired of me for that day or that week or whatever. I was actually living with my grandma at the time. I was probably about, I'm going to say about 21 because I, I was able to drink. So maybe 21, 22. And um, she basically was like, go to your daddy house. I'm like, nah. I don't want to do that, but I will get out of your house. Cause obviously I'm driving you crazy right now. So I said, Danny, man, I, um, uh, I need somewhere to stay. Cause granny put me out, pull up. you never asked questions type of guy. He either going to do it or he not. So pull up. He was like, you got the couch, um, buy your own food. Uh, this is how much I want. Welcome nigga. That's how it was. Bet. He had another roommate. He ain't asked that nigga. He ain't give a fuck about how he felt. 
I'm in there. So when I met him, he was actually going through a crazy time in life. He had something going on that was uh, a lot on him. And um, he actually needed to vent. I could tell him, going on, bro, you good? He was distraught about something. Uh, he, he, we had one of the realest conversations I've ever had in my life with a human being that day. That's how real it was. And, um, ever since that day, that was my brother. So, uh, a couple years go by, he tell me he moving to Miami and I'm sick. I'm like, why? <laughs> Just met you. Like you my dog. Like, you know what I'm saying? I'm having a friendship, you know what I'm saying? Or a brothership. Like, we was just close. And uh, he was like, I, I understand, but I'm out. You know, he was that type of dude. Like, I fuck with you. I love you, but I'm out. He did what he wanted to do. No questions asked. And don't ask him no questions, you know? Um, He went to Miami. I told him one day I'm going to make a t-shirt printing company. And that nigga went up there and created a t-shirt printing company. <laughs> And uh, in the process of him doing that, he actually was working on being an activist for this this nonprofit called Dream Defenders. And I mean, you might as well call this my little slide of um, dedicate, you know what I'm saying, dedication to Danny, because I want y'all to know he was a hell of a guy, bro. I'm talking about and some of y'all may think I'm exaggerating unless you live in Miami, then you know. Like, talk about Malcolm X, Martin Luther King, him and his brother. Man, they ain't give a fuck about the institution. They they want equality, you know? Something that I'd be like, bro, we ain't gonna get it, fuck it. And he like, what? Are we gonna get it? If, 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 if I gotta die about it, we'll get it. That's the type of person he was. Uh, Dream Defenders is Dream Defenders was born when Trayvon Martin was killed. Um, that was their whole reason for going to Miami in the first place because he was killed in Florida. So they decided to go up there, and I mean it was like a switch because he wasn't even he wasn't even like that when he was in Charlotte. But his brother, absolutely. So they both it was a switch at the same time and um they said they going up there started with nothing nothing my other boy jay his brother phil that's jay's brother um and obviously this was at a later time but you know he's he's basically honoring what started his legacy in the first place. And it was his 10 year anniversary for that. So April 6, 2022. Um, and you know, he was in a lot of phenomenal places with a lot of phenomenal people. Did, like this picture right here. Y'all don't understand. They stepped in there like, yo, fuck whatever y'all talking about. And we'll sit in the, in the, in the White House, or not the White House, was sit in the courtrooms and the um these offices. I, they sat for hours, and they weren't afraid. <laughs> they were never afraid. This is at the governor's office. They were never, ever afraid. He was never, ever, ever afraid. And I admire that so much. Um, being his his sister, man. You know, he the type you be like, yo, I'm I'm scared, bro. I can't even. But you are. You know what I'm saying? You are. You got this. You good. And you'll do it. And you'll realize I got this. Move to Miami. Dream Defender started and then he started his own company. He started his own company called Roots Collective. And that was the t-shirt print company, but it wasn't just that. It was um a mass community of uh taking care of the um um the less fortunate out there. 
you know, he was in little Haiti. He loved the hood. He's from Chicago. Love the hood. Uh, he was in little Haiti, just taking care of everybody. So his brother used the words, we lost a, a anchor and that's real. Um, and I know right now I may not sound emotional. It's because I'm talking about the good in him. You can't, his brother spoke about what happened to him in this accident that happened. And I'm going to get into that, but I wanted to tell y'all who he was before we got into that. Um, uh, this is actually my first time drinking. I have not been just binge drinking. Everybody around me is not drinking at all. Actually. Um, now will I not drink at all? Fuck no. Danny, <laughs> me and him was always going to have a drink, whether somebody had a drink or not. <laughs> so Danny would have had a drink. Um, Stuff. So he was just this phenomenal man. Phenomenal. Um and uh the things that he created in the process, simply amazing, man. They, he actually created a damn community uh a community fridge. It was actually called the village. The village fridge. And it's F R E E uh D G E. Right? So they created a community fridge to feed the homeless. The homeless that was in Miami, you know, because you can be, you could take care of people, but you can't take care of people everywhere. But you can make a a, a statement where you are, you know? So he made sure. He took care of the people in Miami. So as he's doing that, he created a fridge that anytime they were hungry, he was able to feed them. <laughs> brilliant. Just a brilliant man. You know, selfless. Um, and I just want to highlight these things before I get into this, um, this story of what happened to him. got to honor your friends and you got to honor them while they're here. And I'm going to tell y'all, I did. We, mm -mm. and I can't cry on here because some of y'all can't even take it when I'm on here crying because I'm here to make y'all laugh and I'm here to teach. So I can't keep coming on here crying for y'all. But I'm going to cry like hell when I get off this camera. I'm going to be strong right now. He, he was so selfless and, uh, we always spoke good to each other. Always. Well, you're doing good, boy. I see you. We didn't have to see each other. We didn't have to be with each other, but our presence was always felt. And when we see each other, we left off right. If I, if I seen him in 2019, and then I see him 2023. We left off from 2019. You know what I'm saying? Regular. And uh, we always bigged each other up. Every chance we got, it was never envy. It was never hate. It was never none of that. And, you know, he set the bar really high, really high for anybody that came into my life. And I, I can't believe, well, I can't believe that I, Came on the internet saying that I didn't have friends. And you know what? I don't. Hmm. Anybody that comes into my life that I love, I call you family. Period. And uh, he was never a friend. Friends switch up. Family can. Blood thicker than water. And in this case, he was more blood than anything. Um. <sighs> We definitely poured into each other before he passed. And um, I, don't, I don't have that regret because we were so good to each other, you know. Um, he was a great guy. I actually saw this post the other day, which it happened a long time ago. 
he was very proud of who he was right so he don't care about a jail photo i want to get y'all this this uh caption oh he says spent the night in jail with c words <laughs> telling me how they don't lie after they lied about me resisting arrest so they could lie about pulling me out of my whip slamming me to the ground and kneeing me with no probable cause all while there i still scream fuck 12. uh he called out the officer he needs to be reviewed i don't create clothing to start trouble i created to highlight the ish shout out to every inmate showing me love for showing no fear y'all the real ones and this was the shirt <clears throat> so in miami i mean this nigga left chicago came to charlotte left the mark left went to miami and just made history you know uh he had no fear y'all that's the most like i've never seen a person just not be afraid of shit nothing ever <laughs> whatever came his way took that shit on the chin he was a real man you know and i only let him i only let him be a man around me because when niggas ain't around i'm holding doors for all the women and shit you know holding shit down i know i'm not a man but i hold my fort down or whoever down that's around me but if he was around I let him have it. Uh, but uh, that was the shirt. That was the shirt that had a knee in his back. And he didn't give a fuck. He was willing to die for whatever. You could see it in his face. Woo! I'm sitting here making a video I was, and I'm like, no, nah, I'm not doing this right. I'm not doing this right. I have to honor you. Then I could speak about what happened to you, and I can get closure. The funeral has not happened yet. You know, it's a lot that we got to go through. I'm, I'm ready. Cannot wait to embrace and 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 um just feel the shit that he created. And I I went to Miami. I I went in the beginning when he first started. It was nowhere near what he created in the beginning, but I was there to see the beginning. And um the amount of people that he I'm sorry that I gotta fucking kill Larry's in the process, but it is. What the amount of people that he um, helped in the process and, the, and the, the changes he made, I cannot wait to feel that energy. I cannot wait. It's going to be life changing and y'all going to see some changes from me because this shit is so real to me. Um, I just want y'all to know the guy he was and feel free to, you know, take a look at it. This is one of his summer camps. He loved children. Um, he loved children he loved black people and he loved white people that was for us <laughs> um he was that guy so uh, what happened it's actually a um it, it hit the fucking news. Every time we talk about it, it just get, it just pisses all of us off. But it hit the news, um, and he was driving, and somehow the Tesla lost control, hit a wall, and he was ejected from the car. And while other car, uh, one car tried to dodge him, that car got hit by somebody else, which pushed the car forward and ran him. Ooh, I can say that now. 
I like it. I get off. Um. I can't. We not here to. Be weak. Um, Y'all look at YouTubers like they fucking robots or even him. You know, people looked at him like that. One thing I can say is he always rolled with it. Whatever it was. And... What happened to him is unbecoming. It's tragic. It's it's terrible. And you would say all the all the good he did, he didn't deserve that. And I still don't think he did. We all have our skeletons. We all have our shit that we've done. Uh, he was a proud uh, Chicago native, GED grad, two-time felon. He was a proud one, though. So. Um, he was never ashamed of where he came from and what he did. Such a great fucking guy. You know, another reason why I have to be strong is because I got a family to feed. And this situation right here just really taught me how surreal shit can be, but how that clock don't ever stop ticking. And... Even if I, even if it was me. I know my nigga would have got him a bottle, poured up for me, showed up for me. And he would have went back to work. And, you know, I'm not reading these comments at all. Oh, uh, not going to lie. So anything negative, I won't even be able to see. But. Save the telling me how to grieve. You got to take your time. And I got a family to feed. There is no time today, y'all. There is no time. YouTube don't come with bereavement. Don't come with bereavement pay. That's why niggas got their cash app all through YouTube. If you feel like you want me to take time and you want me to relax and you want me to chill, hit the cash app in the pin comment. Feel free. Do I feel like doing videos? Don't. I don't. Do I feel like smiling and being happy? But am I? Yes, I am. My nigga was talking about having children before he passed. And Danny was a player, you know, player. But, uh, forget the gangster. Gangster, he was a player. And, uh, he was actually talking about children because he loved kids. And when you got a family to feed and when you got children in the community to feed and just have children to feed, ain't no sitting down, ain't no I'm away, ain't no such thing. 
So y'all will see me doing videos. Still. Right after I do them videos, I'm probably going to get right back in this bed. I'm going to go right back to what the fuck I was doing. But not only do I have children to feed, I still have y'all. A lot of y'all have been going through things that I've helped a lot of y'all through. And... To be that person is an honor. To be that person is actually a privilege. It was a privilege to be him. And what's crazy with activists and people with, with no fear and people that stand up and shit like that, God always take them early. Always. So I'm not surprised that this happened. I hate that it did. I cherish every moment. And he set the bar high for anybody that come into my mother. And I hate that I took that shit for granted. But I never will again. I love it, boy. <laughs> but, um, I love y'all. I love y'all. Actually, is a huge part of the reason why I won't be able to leave. My daddy told me a long time ago, you starting a you're starting something that you'll never be able to take a day off from. And he was not fucking lying. What? I couldn't ask for a better situation. I couldn't ask for a better um, position. And to those who appreciate it, I appreciate you. Uh, Y'all know I have to go to a funeral. I have to travel. I have things to do. So I am going to put my cash up now. If you would love to help. If not, either way it's going to get done. Um. I think I told y'all everything I want y'all to know about my boy. Selfless. Not a fear in the world. I'm gonna miss that nigga. But. I love y'all. Um, y'all will see a different scenery tomorrow. I'm about to start reacting to videos. I gotta work. Um, once again, I say this for the people that care. I'm not binging this at all. I'm not in a place where I don't feel like I want to be here. I'm not. I'm not there. I'm celebrating my new reality. He would have. Always, if you can, just put a kind word in the comments. Uh, give me some time to read the comments. It's always a demon looking to uh, 
talk shit about it. <clears throat> Smile on your demise. To the ones that got some kind words, drop them. I got through it. No, I got an angel now. So. That's all I got. I uh, will be giving y'all reaction videos. I will not be going live for a minute until I'm ready anyway. And I don't know how long that'll be. Hell, knowing me, it could be a month, but knowing me, it could be a day. I don't know. I'll just give me a second. All right. I love y'all. Appreciate y'all.